What's up, guys? How's it going? All right. How you doing? We got another what's sold video. So in these videos, I go through what's sold on eBay as far as the single cards, Pokemon, um, Magic the Gathering, all those sorts of stuff, all those trading card games I sell on eBay as singles, and I sell a TCG player as singles as well. Um, I like to go through and do sort of a what's sold maybe a couple times a week and show you what's selling, what's not selling, and stuff like that, tips and tricks on how to ship, how to increase your profit margin, whether it's a singles or sealed product you sell. I also sell sealed product on my own website. So if you're interested in any sort of sealed product, check out my website. It's be in the link in the description. And uh, yeah, so it's actually really hard to get sealed product right now. <laughs> if you check my website, you'll see I have everything's out of stock, but I do have a uh, new feature, out of stock option feature. So if you're interested in any sealed product on my website, put your email address in there. And once it becomes available, you'll be the first to know. So let's get into the singles we sold. We got first up a reverse hollow Weedle from Champion's Path. Now. With the singles and stuff like that, you really don't, you're not gonna crush it. <laughs> this one sold for $1.29. I do use the new feature with eBay now. They uh, have a single card um, plain white envelope feature. It is a little bit more expensive than just buying your stamps off of um, eBay. So I used to buy my stamps off eBay and get them for around 43 cents. But now it's 51 cents to ship something if you do the plain white envelope uh, tracking through eBay. But in the long run, it helps because it it'll, will increase your profit margin because the amount of people that will put in claims against you will drop. So like every month, maybe I'll get out of a hundred sales, let's say, let's say out of a hundred sales, maybe three or four will say that they didn't receive it. Now these could be low dollar items, like maybe two or $3 items, but over time, that adds up maybe like, you know, 15 or 20 bucks a month in people claiming that they didn't receive their item. Now, if you're paying an extra four or five cents each shipment, sure it adds up, but it'll increase your um, profit margin over time. So I'm just gonna use that. Plus also, it'll be able, uh, you'll be able to get your, um, oh, what do they call it? Uh, top rated seller. You'll be able to get top rated seller if you use that um, plain white envelope feature through eBay. So I'm gonna use that for the next couple months, see how it goes, and we'll see. All right, next one up. Next card we got is uh, Butterfree V from uh, Darkness of Blaze. Now this sold for $2.99. Again, I'm gonna use the eBay you know, plain white envelope feature and stuff like that. It, it, I think it's a really cool feature that they came out with. It's really awesome and TCG player I think is gonna have to do something like that in, or else I think eBay is gonna take like all the uh, market share for single cards next one up we got a um, uh, Piplup common reverse hollow I think this is from uh, I forget what set that's from I think ultra prism um, yeah reverse hollow so this one dollar 25 and next one up we got a um, Menentric from uh, Darkness Ablaze, Reverse Hollow. This one sold for $1.99. Now guys, I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but the thing is with the with selling singles, it's a lot of microtransactions. It's a lot of um, small uh, dollar items. So over time, it adds up. At the end of this, I'm gonna go over exactly what, out of, out of these eight cards, what exactly you can actually bring home in your pocket. Next one we got, we got an Evolution card. We got a Pidgeot EX from Evolution. This one sold for $3.99. Again, all these are gonna go in plain wine envelope. It's gonna cost around 50, 51 cents to ship. We got a vintage card that sold. We got a, um, a Rapidash from uh, Jungle. Light played condition. This one sold for $2.49. Got a Vivid Voltage card, Reverse Hollow, a Regirock. This one sold for $1.75 gonna go play my envelope and we also got a um, ultra rare a promo card this one is a uh, Zemazenta this one sold for 250 okay all said and done after all of that those eight cards are gonna net me in my pocket nine dollars and fifty cents I know it doesn't seem like a lot and it's not but over time with enough volume it does become a profitable business so I know it's hard to get any sort of product right now as far as sealed product to open 
for singles, but right now I wouldn't really recommend opening stuff for singles. I would recommend selling a sealed product because the booster box prices are going insane. When it becomes profitable is sort of when um, the singles really uh, sort of outweigh the price of the sealed product itself. Like right now, booster boxes are going for like 150, 60, 170 dollars a box, which is insane. And I would sell it sealed. But if let's say the booster box of that certain set is only really going for 80, 90 bucks, it becomes more profitable to crack open the box and sell the singles. So people like to complete master sets and stuff like that. So that's when it becomes sort of profitable. I, th all these cards I've opened up five months ago, four months ago, you know, when the sets first came out, whenever, whenever Vivid Voltage first came out, not five months ago, but a few months ago when Vivid Voltage came out, opened up a bunch of booster cases. Same thing with Dark Displays. But right now, out of inventory, sold out of everything if you check the website, but we'll be coming back soon with stuff. Restocks will happen. And I don't recommend opening up any sort of sealed product right now. Now you would sort of sell the booster boxes, but sell what you can, lock in those profits, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.